How did this even happen? I I'm literally just trying to film a video. And then, I'm like, what's that noise? And I look on my finger and it's like, you have a new friend. So today I'm going to be reacting. Sorry for the horrible lighting. You look my mommy. Today I'm going to be reacting to 10 strange addictions. I have seen my strange addiction. But I don't know if this is from that. And my camera does not. I'm to show the beautiful tablet screen. There it is. And I'll pause it. I'm not gonna be doing the whole thing, so make sure to watch. I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, I know. It's a girl who eats her husband ashes. Then why you she voluntarily checked into an inpatient care facility. Um, excuse me while I go throw up. Yeah. A Detroit man that only goes by his online alias, Dave Cat, is in love with fake women. I'm not just talking about breast implants and hair extensions. I'm talking about life-size synthetic sex dolls. He saved for a year and a half to buy a $6,000 real doll, who he named Sigore Kuruneku. He oh. says the doll is anatomically correct. I've only seen... But it's not just oh my about God. Like, I haven't seen this video at all. But I know the girl who turned husband ashes is just never knew that. I heard about it. Just another doll, Elena. According to Dave Cat, the girls are best of friends, and they engage in bisexual activity when he goes to work. He says that the arguments between him and Sindore are extremely few and far between. This 40 plus year old techno sexual and his synthetic soulmate wear matching wedding bands, commemorating their love that started over 15 years ago. That's gross. A woman from Queens, New York, named Keisha, is a hoarder of soiled diapers. <gasps> yes! I've heard of this one, too. I've seen my strange addiction. This woman chews and sucks on them as well. She states, and I quote, it has to have pee. It has to have pee. The heavier ones that have more pee smell better. She gets soiled diapers from friends and even strangers and says that the taste is similar to sour candy. She hides the urine diapers in her purse and even in her car trunk to satisfy her craving. <laughs> Since the first craving, she has gone through more than 25,000 urine soaked diapers. Her fiance She's grown. disgusting. Yes, she has a boyfriend. Says that she will go as far as digging in garbage bins to find them. When she does, she gives it the sniff test. If it's up to par, she'll go to town on that bad boy. Right there. Keisha, you're just a regular potty mouth, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> potty mouth. Let's go back to Detroit and meet Lisa. She's addicted to eating feline fur. That's right. This woman cannot go more than two hours without consuming her cat's hair. She claims that chewing the fur is relaxing. It's so good. I've never seen this. To get the hair, she brushes the cats. Or she even looks around the house to find some laying on the furniture. I seriously want to throw up. That's disgusting. she can't find her grooming tools, she'll just lick the cats directly. Like a proud mama cleaning her kitchen. But don't worry, folks. She says she doesn't lick the cat's butt stuff. Oh, for a minute there, I thought she might have been a creep. From one hairy situation to the next, we come to Evan. This young man is addicted to pulling hair out of shower drains. He does this three times a week. And to be honest, I used to, when I was like four, I would be showering. And like, I would see like this little piece of chunk hair in like the bathtub. And I would pull it out too. I don't know why, to be honest. To fish out those filthy follicles. Once he hits the jackpot and pulls out a clump of slimy, wet hair strands, he's instantly relieved. But after about three to five seconds of playing with it in his hands, he's disgusted with himself and throws it in the trash. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, boy, oh boy, do I love cheesy potatoes. But no one loves them more than Kelly. She was addicted to eating only cheesy potatoes for more than 30 plus years. According to her, it is the ultimate food because it's gooey, gooey, and yum, yum, yummy. She was traumatized at age four by a freaky ham and cheese puking incident. Ever since then, she's eaten nothing but cheesy potatoes for breakfast, lunch, and I'm gonna do a few more after this. She loves french fries, drizzled in cheddar, and and Swiss. That's so good. addicted to eating cheesy potatoes that even the sight of a vegetable literally brought her to tears. The smell of a Brussels sprout made her gag and cry like a toddler sniffing a sprig of asparagus. In the last couple I love of eating years, eating conscious effort to eat healthier foods and losing weight. Okay, so the one after this is it. Every day she cleans her house from top to <gasps> Okay, I thought she was addicted to drinking bleach. I was like, how is this woman not dead? I like the smell of bleach, to be honest. She goes through more than 3,000 gallons. It smells okay. That's not the worst of Every morning, Gloria adds copious amounts of bleach to her bath water. She says that when her eyes get that glowing red burning sensation, it's time to get out of the tub. Just to be clear, on a leading bleach manufacturer, her um, skin. If that's toxic chemicals, her skin. I should probably have my hair covering it. Because, oh, shoot, did I have my hair? It, it has my school, my, um, not my school name, but my other school name, like church school. I'm not giving you a slang term for cocaine either. I'm talking literal baby powder. And I mean, she really crams it up there. There's nothing tidy about the process. She'll grab a spoon full of the stuff and shove as much of it as she can up her nostrils. I'm not sure this one, I'm not. Oh, um. She would rub baby powder all over her body, but eventually she felt that the smell was strong enough to satisfy her sights. After this one, I'm going to end the video. Over time, she would put the powder closer and closer to her nose, until one day she just said, YOLO, and masked it straight up into her sniff. Jay snorts baby powder at least 10 times a day. This lady snorts so much baby powder that her apartment is covered in a thick layer of white dust. It's estimated that she's inhaled over 1,800 pounds of baby powder over a 16-year period and has no Okay, I stopped out of vampires. I'm totally gonna watch this. Um, cause I've seen Vampire Diaries. Is this is this Vampire Diaries? Why did I have a feeling that this little shot was from Vampire Diaries? I just knew it. But that's all today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.